Hey folks, Jem Bernakovich here with All Points Design, that's allpointsdesign.ca, and today we're talking about the Oregon State University Permaculture Template. Specifically, we're taking a look at the SWOT analysis. Now, you'll see the SWOT analysis at the end of most of the assignments, and the SWOT analysis is a critical thinking process. It is a review, it is a analysis, it is a way to look at all of the different elements within that assignment and start to ask some very specific questions. Sometimes you'll see SWOTs as verticals or horizontals side by side, but commonly you'll see it done as a quadrant. So we've got in the left-hand side things that are helpful, on the right-hand side things that are harmful, on the top things that are internal to the site, and at the bottom things that are external to the intrinsic characteristics of the site. When you take a look at the first element, the helpful, we'll take a look at the assignment itself. So this is the design site assignment. And we'll say, okay, great. What is, what is well in this assignment's focus? What is well in the design site? We may have good solar access. We may have close proximity to market. We may have naturally great soil. What's unique resources can you draw upon? Well, this site might actually have a great aspect and it might be a south southwest aspect, which would give us a lot more uh, exposure to sun, which if we take a look at growing, sun is the throttle for growth and water is the fuel. And if we have both the throttle and the fuel, we can grow quite a bit. Or what could be seen as a strength? Well, we may have a lot of good uh, tree cover on the north side of the property that would give us a bit of a heat trap and help uh, the heat that's accumulated during the day to stay closer to the ground because it's not as exposed to space, which is all constantly trying to rob heat from the earth or the earth is trying to heat space. So that could be some strengths. When we take a look at weaknesses, what are the observed weaknesses of the site? This could also be interpreted as what could be improved upon. Maybe there's not really good water access or maybe there's only a single water point. Maybe there's no water on site. That's a weakness. What do you have fewer resources of than others? So you could maybe not have as much depth of soil. You could be on bedrock. What could be seen as a weakness? So maybe you're further away from market. Maybe you are four or five hours away from a market and you, the purpose of the design site is to become a market garden. That would be a weakness. Taking a look at opportunities, what opportunities do you see of the site before working through the course? You know, what opportunities are open to you? It might be uh, a big open canvas. Uh, there's already been a lot of um, forestry on site. There's a couple of fields that have been worked for a long time. So we don't have to worry about changing over the ecology of a forest into a disturbed uh, field ecosystem. What could be taken advantage of? Well, maybe you have the ability to work with hunting on your site and you don't need to go into animal production to feed your family from a homesteading perspective. Maybe you're directly in the flight path of a huge number of native bee colonies that you've observed. There could be lots and lots of opportunities that are inherent, inherent to the site and could be something like a strength that could be turned into an opportunity. So maybe you have really good solar exposure and there could be an opportunity for photovoltaics as a way to generate energy. Threats again are an external, so it's something external to the site. So what threats could harm you? So if you're taking a look externally from the site and you can see that there's a particularly um, economically uh, volatile area near you, that could be a threat. Uh, you could be uh, close to the coast and you're vulnerable to tsunamis, uh, anything that could be a random event that could negatively impact your site, uh, that's hard to predict, that we tend to uh, rationalize after the fact. This is also the definition of a black swan as outlined by Nassim Nicholas Taleb. That could be a threat that we'd want to look at. So what threats could harm you and what threats do your weaknesses expose you to? So if it's a wide open site, one of the weaknesses could be wide open. The threats are, could be a lot of wind damage. We just had a windstorm on our property today and a couple of trees came down perfectly in the field because there's so much wind that comes at them that a single tree is not that strong by itself because it tends to grow its roots into roots of other trees and then work together. 
So the SWOT analysis will happen almost behind every single assignment with some few exceptions. And it's a way for you to critically think about your site. If you keep coming up with the same answers over and over for let's say climate and design site and base map, great. That's the point. The point is to verify to yourself what you're seeing or experiencing in your site to make sure that you're not bringing any personal biases to what you see. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked this video, feel free to click the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.